Hello and welcome back to my walkthrough of Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. We are right here where we left off, still on level 4 of, of uh, Dungeon Shame. And we are going to go and um, go through this wall that's right in front of us here. If I go back to the notes for a second. So this is where we are. We are here where this up and down arrow is. Right in front of us is this, which is a fake wall. And I believe we had to fight some gremlins. And then we have this room. And then we're going to have to come down through here. We went through this room and this room. We've actually gone through this one once and this one twice. And then we're going to have to go through this combat room to get down here to this ladder to take us up to level three and hopefully find um, the the stone. We're still looking for the purple stone, I believe it is, for Dungeon Shame. So that is the plan for this episode. But let us walk through. Start on our way back. Okay, so I guess the gnomes are in this room. Okay, that's strange because we had gnomes before and uh, this time we do not. Very odd, but let's uh, get moving. Okay, here we are in this room. New room for us. Haven't been in this room before. So we've got some Nixies. A Nixie. A Nixie. Obviously not a fearful thing. And then we got a couple Hydras. Who are reasonably good opponents. All right, I don't think uh, either one of my uh, melee peeps are gonna be in a position to help on this one. So I'm gonna get them out, but I also want some of my other ranged people to get down here so they can help me with the Hydras. Not that I necessarily need help, but it never hurts. That guy's already fleeing. All right, so you can come down over, over. Where are you going? I'm gonna start working my way over there so I can get to the gold. Let's see, so that one I think is... No, we they can walk on gold boxes. We've seen that in the past. So I'm not really sure why he's sticking to the corner there. Why are we missing this guy? There we go. All right, I think I'm just going to take on this last one by myself. Yeah, here he comes. Now that his mate, I don't know, I'm making things up, is dead, he's, he's like, all right, now I'm angry. You killed my mate. Um, many heads. And I was trying to think of a really stupid name for a Hydra. I guess that'll have to do. Lightly wounded. Still lightly wounded. This guy's got a little bit of health. Now he's heavily wounded. That's what I like to see. All right. Get the peeps out of here and get some gold. Forty-nine. 
I'm going to have her stick around just in case. Oh, I didn't get that one. 54. Why does it say not here? Oh, because I was on the wrong person. 44. All right, good. Okay, here we are in the hallway. We have ghostesses and and a ladder. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have our melee peeps uh, be able to be of any assistance, but uh, we'll see. Ghosts usually don't last very long. I mean, they're already dead, so. It's like the job's half done for us here. Are we really, we probably really aren't killing them, we're banishing them is what we're doing. From this mortal plane, so they can finally go rest in peace. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're freeing them from their servitude as ghostly people. Isn't that nice? We're doing a good thing here. <laughs> Uh, that guy, he is fleeing. He is fleeing. If these guys keep up with the Missy Missy, uh, Joffrey may have a chance to try his sword on these ghosts. Uh, but then I can also do that. So hurry, Joffrey. He got all excited. All right, good. 48. Let's climb. Let's pair to gem. Okay, so we've got combat rooms. We're going to ignore the combat rooms that are directly to the east and the west, kind of at the other bottom of the fork there from where we are. We're going to go up to the middle combat room and then head west for the uh, the, the ladder. Uh, if we, in level 2 and 3, or 1 and 2, 2 and 1, if we don't find the stone then we'll have to come back down here and check these rooms out. But I'm not going to worry about it for right now. So let's, we want to head north. Just nothing to see here. Yep, we're going to go through here. And we've got, these are slimes, I think. A fair amount of them, although I don't think there's any particular threats that these guys paw, uh Pose. There we go. That's the word pose. But there are a lot of them to get through. And we're going to want to exit out of here to the west to get to where the ladder is. But first, we got to get rid of these guys. I'm going to go ahead and send my melee people up because there are enough of these things. Then it's likely that they'll get a chance to do a little stabby stabby. Not quite sure how well stabby stabby works on slimes, but I guess we all, and if we're not able to fight, then I guess we might as well move up until we are. Oh, that guy's fleeing already. Probably gonna be dead in just a minute here. Wow, we keep missing. I'm gonna see if Katrina can take out that one that's fleeing. Although it'll probably juke to the left or the right. Case in point. Oh, good job. I go up so I can help out Katrina. All right. 
right, good. And then we're just going to have to start peeling off to the left and the right here, I think. All right, that was still the one that was fleeing. So that we can um, get rid of all the slime. All right, where do I want to go? I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, another one down. That's a good job. I'm going to have you wait a minute. And you can wait. You can come over. All right. Oh, good job. Another good, good hit there. We're whittling them down. Yeah, not everybody's going to be able to. Oh, one fled. I, didn't, I don't see anything. There's no gold here. So I don't see any particular. I'm going to just send you this way. You can wait. Come over, come down. Yeah, I, there's no reason to particularly, I should have had him fight, do any um, investigating these little nooks where the slimes were hiding. All right, good. The left side has been cleared. All right, this guy made a, a really bad error. Okay, it doesn't matter because he's already dead. All right, so we want to get out of here and we want to go to the west. So we're kind of all strung out. And so now we just need to start, start the train. Okay, and here we are. We are in the passes with the ladder up. Everybody's health's doing pretty good. I'm not going to really worry about uh, doing anything with that at this point. Okay, so we've got a lot of corridors. So once again, it's time to peer at a gem. Okay, so we've got... Another ladder up. Yeah, okay, so I'm not, we're gonna, let's go down this way a little bit. Here again. The stone is here. Hallelujah. It seems kind of suspiciously easy that there's nothing between us and that, but uh, there is the ladder up, and that seems to be behind. I think that's the um, the marking for a force field, the little um, carrot symbol. Okay, so we're going to go down and get the stone, obviously. I don't know if there'll be anything between here and there. It's not looking like it so far. Oh, we got some bats and a dragon. No, those are Lava lava lizards. All right. I don't I don't even know that I want to bother. Bats probably are not too robust. And that seems to be the case. The lava lizard is probably more a cause for concern than anything else. I mean they can hurt us and they they spew lava. You're not doing us any help, Iolo, when you miss stuff. Well, there went the big concern. So yeah, let's uh, do a little, whoops, that's a melee peep. Let's do a little pest control here. Get rid of some bats. 
And then we can be on our way to getting the stone. Yeah, 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 that's Katrina. All right, good job, Julia. Just gonna get up there like that. So if they get down into fighting range, I can assist Julia, or I think it's Joffrey actually. Sorry, Joffrey. Sorry, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure who would be necessarily the most offended by that. I'm thinking maybe Julia. All right, and there we go. We found the purple stone. And this is where we hear the choir singing hallelujah and, uh, and everything. Awesome sauce. So let's switch to our notes again. And as you can see now, we have found the blue. We already have the white. We've got the purple. We do not have the green. That's what we need um, to for the altar of truth. Um, we've got the white. Yeah, we, so we got more to do here. But here's what we're going to do. Uh, we are, if I go back to my map for shame here, we're on level two. And actually, if I go back to where I was, you'll see that for shame, we never found the door for shame in the world. So I'm curious where that's going to be. And plus, you know, we went through all of this and all of these rooms to get down here to level eight, to get back to the altar of truth. And I don't know that I really want to do all that, but I kind of want to find out where the door is for this place. And I also want to um, get there in as quick a manner as possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to deal with some slimes, obviously. And we are going to go back up and we're going to take the um, ladder up to level one. And from level one, hopefully there is a ladder to get out. And then we will do um, use a gate spell to get back to Lord British. And then we'll just go back down through the, uh, the high fluff ent entrance. And it'll be a lot quicker way to get back there. So let's take care of these guys. Not a lot of them, which is good. All right, you can't do anything. All right. All right, we're already down one. Oops, sorry, Joffrey, I forgot. The, it was you. All right. Yeah, magic, uh, magic wand does its job well. All right, good, another one gone. Oh, another one gone. Excellent. I don't know why I had them move. Okay, good. I'm just going to stay put. If it gets down to my level, then I can shoot across at it. He's fleeing, so I'm not expecting that to be too likely. And he seems to really be fleeing. And he's gone. Well, that was relatively painless. All right. Oh, more slimes, really? Okay, I was kind of hoping maybe I could I could do that. I'm, I guess I should have backed up and gone someplace else, but it's too late now. Um, not because I'm in any fear of these slimes is just like you know what we just fought slimes I'm, I'm kind of tired of fighting slimes in all honesty so but you know what do we got six, six slimes here I think shouldn't take us too long Oops, sorry. You just stand there and look threatening and wave your sword around a lot, both you and Katrina. 
All right, we're winning them down. Halfway gone. All right, down to one. Okay, let's climb. And once again, let's appear to gem. This was not exactly what I wanted to see. <laughs> I wanted to see a ladder. I do not see a ladder. We may just do an exit spell. Uh, it could be that the ladder is hidden in some fashion, and plus there's an orb. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the fountain we're going to let anybody drink who needs to drink to get their health up all the way. And then we're going to go up the, the passage there to the north to that one combat room that leads to another little passage there. Because I don't know if, like, it's there but it's hidden kind of thing. I mean, pretty much, if it's there, it's been showing us. So I'm not quite sure what to make of that. I suppose it could potentially be in the same spot where the orb is at. Um but that way we'll kind of get through one combat room and then we can rest and then we're going to have three combat rooms to get up to the orb. And, um, yeah, that's going to suck because, uh, I'm not probably going to want to go back through, well, at a minimum two combat rooms to get to the, uh, to get back to the fountain, the placement on this sucks. And especially if we think where I'm just going to do an exit spell or if there's a ladder there, then, uh, yeah, maybe we'll, um, We'll just get out. We'll just get out of dodge. Okay. But let's go. We want to go to the east. That's this way. Oh. All right. And now I want to, so I can look to the north. There's nothing really to see there. I can look to the south. Come over here. All right. Search. I will drink. Oh, okay. Well, at least that prevents us from thinking that, hey, we might need to come back here and drink after we take the, uh, after we uh, grab the orb. Everybody's up to full health from, from sleeping, so that's good. That's kind of nasty. I guess, it, you know, you can't trust every water source. Oh, it's an actual door. Spiders, I think. I mean, they look like they'd be at home in a Tron game. <laughs> but we're already down to one. Because they almost look like, you know, circuit boards to me with legs or something like that. But, you know, it's an 8-bit game. Oh, I think it's 8-bit. Maybe it's 16. I don't remember how many bits there are. But not a, not a lot of bits. All right. That's a trap. More spiders. Is that all that's in here is spiders? Looks that way. Okay. I'm going to bring these two up. These seem to be... Well, I, was, I was just going to say, these seem to take like one hit and then die. And now they're, they're, they're being a little more tough. At least from my... From my wand, which admittedly is a very nice weapon. Okay, that spider's fleeing. All right, we got another one gone. If we can hit them. Ooh, these guys shoot poison. That's not very friendly, but it makes sense for spiders. Makes sense for spiders. All right, another one gone. Oh, nice. And they're doing very... They're, 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 they really love their diagonal attack, but... We're not in line with them to do a diagonal attack. Of course, there's really nobody lined up with this guy. So, he's lightly wounded. And he's gone. Alright, so yeah, nothing in this hallway. Except a couple ghosts. Alright. Go ye back to where you can enjoy your eternal rest. That one must have been a bodybuilder or something in life. Because he's kind of tough. Although he is fleeing now. All right.
Okay, so we need to head to the west. We have three combat rooms to get to to get to the orb. What in the hell is this? These are wisps, I'm pretty sure. Yes, these are wisps. And I don't think they're particularly dangerous. Whoops. Joffrey, you need to move. If you're going to do anything. What I'm not certain of is how do we get out of this particular room to get to that center section yet. But it's probably going to be one of these things where we need to step on a specific tile. And then something will open up. So I guess let's take care of the wisps that are before us. And then we're going to have more wisps to take care of. Unless they can come. Looks like they might be able to come to the walls. Which makes some sense for wisps. Joffrey. You're supposed to. Whoops. That's not going to work. Yeah, I don't know the wisps can be scared by you brandishing your sword there. Uh, Katrina. All right, that wisp is fleeing. I probably should have had her take out the one that was right next to her. Or at least work on taking out the one that's right next to her. All right. There's another one gone. Ah, uh, Katrina. Okay, good. That one's gone. Heavily wounded. I mean, these guys aren't super tough, but there are a lot of them. And I wasn't counting, but I think that we may have... I think some of the ones from the middle section have been coming in here. So I feel like we've got, maybe they haven't, I don't know. It's tough to tell if some of them have been crossing the brickwork or not. Okay. I'm having, I'm sending uh, Katrina kind of down into this end to see if she steps on something that's going to, or finds a a hidden wall. I probably should be checking the walls in front of me, too. Oh, Joffrey. While um, we continue to take out the rest of the wisps that we can get to. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now it's opened up. Now it's opened up. Beautiful. I think it's where Iolo is. I think that was the trigger. Okay. Let's move forward. Well, good job, Katrina. Very nice. Oh, I should have had him attack, not move. Okay, that was less than ideal. How did one get in front of me all of a sudden? All right, there's one down. Sending Katrina into the breach.
Okay. Ooh. All right. So since we have a couple reapers, definitely casting the gate. All right, Joffrey, you need to get up out of the way. Because I don't think you're going to be able to get anywhere where you can do any good in the short term. Again, not the ideal room layout for for combat, but at the same time... I, oh, they put her to sleep. Since when do headless... Was that the headless? Cast sleep spells. I don't remember headless doing that kind of thing. It could be that I'm just misremembering. All right, one headless down. Whoops, that's Joffrey. He's not going to do anything. That headless is fleeing. Good luck with that. In that small space. All right, now he's dead. All right. So we're going to have to get down in here. So that we can put a little hurting on this guy. That was kind of weird. Somebody took a hit. But nobody's poisoned. Oh, the headless are trying to get us by coming into the poison fields and they're dying. They're taking hits and dying in the poison field for the room on the west there. <laughs> That's priceless. I love that. All right. All right, he's heavily wounded. I think we've gotten about everybody we can possibly get involved with him, involved with him. So he's critical now. Uh, how do you miss this guy? They're pretty much stationary people. You just do that. What could be easier? I think I should have... Okay, then we're done. All right, I'm going to have everybody stay put because I'm going to have to get up there and do a dispel. But I'll, I first need to I'll get there by way of this gold. Oops. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I was just thinking I should be casting another negate in the gate because I was looking to see. Um, Joffrey can cast, can he? Not that. Katrina can't cast. She can't do anything. Iolo. I don't think he can cast. He does have some. Let's see if he can cast... A quick negate. He can. Perfect. All right. So I really don't want her to move. I'm just going to move. Okay. So people are starting to wake up. Uh, Katrina's actually doing pretty good on health. You're just all going to stay there now. I'm going to have Katrina come down and get this last bit of gold until uh, while I'm waiting for me to wake up. Okay. Perfect. Hey, we're over 4,000 gold. I hadn't looked at our gold in a while. All right. Come on, me. Wake up. I might have to use another... Have somebody use an awaken spell on me. All right. 
Awaken me. It failed. Oh, because of the gate spell. I, I did this a couple of episodes ago. I was like, why did my spell fail? I don't understand. And I cast two or three spells and I was all confused. And it's because I got in the gate there. It even affects me. Okay, there we go. I just woke up. Which means, oh, bother. I'm not going to be able to, to do a dispel, I don't believe. Okay, it just ran out, my negate. So I'm going to have to try to do my dispels and hope he doesn't put us all to sleep in the meantime. I mean, I guess we could have just... Oh, no. I, meant to, I did A, I meant to do C. That was stupid. Whole turn wasted. Okay. Okay. Okay, Katrina can't cast. Iolo. This has been an expensive room, man. We've gone through three negate spells in this room. It's kind of ridiculous. All right, everybody's awake now. Let's try to keep it that way. I'm going to just get up here next to this guy. And maybe Katrina can take him from the front. Lightly wounded. Oh, come on. Still lightly wounded. We're going to rapidly get to the point, and Katrina just got poisoned. Lovely. Where well, we're going to be backed up here. Oh, and he's gone. Perfect. So we can start doing the wagon train out of here. Get the gold, that's my job. Thirty four, all right, really good. It is great how the gold. Just piles up in dungeons. Okay, seventy three. That was a nice that was a nice little chest. Okay, so we were heading north, weren't we? Oh, cure on Katrina. There's a ladder down. Oh, we went out to the west. There's an exit to the north and we want to go to the north. 
Oh, bloody hell. That's my bad. I just saw one obvious exit and thought, that's the way to go. And I didn't have the map up where I could see it. You know, we're going to just let that be that. And we're going to stop here. And uh, when we come back the next time, we'll go have to go back to that room, figure out how to get out to the north. And then we will um, get up to the orb and hopefully find the ladder out of here. But uh, yeah, I will be back soon with another episode. And until then... Be seeing you.